And if you are watching this show from India and plan on visiting the United States, there's something you should know. The visa fee could soon see a massive hike. The U.S. Immigration Services has published a proposal. It does not spare the much sought after H-1B visas. This visa is extremely popular among the Indian tech professionals. It allows high-skilled foreign workers to opt for employment. An application under this visa costs 460 US dollars, but if the proposal is accepted, it could cost 780 US dollars. That's nearly a 70% increase. The fee hike in L1 visas is raising many eyebrows. The visa is basically for temporary intra company transfers. Currently, an application costs 460 dollars. The proposed price is a whopping $1,385. This is an over 200% rise. O1 is also part of that list. This visa is for anyone who has a record of achievements in sectors like sciences, arts, education, business or athletics. The application fee for the O1 visa has been proposed to increase from 460 to $1,055. That's again a 130% rise. H-2B also seeing a similar hike. The visa permits employers to temporarily hire non-agricultural laborers. So why exactly are the prices suddenly rising? A review has found that the current fee structure does not match with the costs incurred by the agency. In fact, it falls far short. These prices have not been changed since 2016. The entire immigration process depends on this, and that's not all. Any expense on refugees and asylum is also charged from this fund. The agency is saying that the increased fees will now help in timely case processing and prevent case backlogs in the future. On a positive note, existing fee waivers for low-income groups will continue as earlier. New fee exemptions for certain humanitarian programs might also be included. And this kind of rate hike is unprecedented for the U.S. immigration services. But the authorities are blaming this on the fallout of the pandemic and an economic downturn. In 2020, the pandemic led to a dramatic reduction in receipts of new applications. And this meant a 40% drop in revenue for the agency. The proposed rule is now on a 60-day public opposition period. Uh, after which it is expected to be enforced immediately. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.